Good. <laughs> Questions 9 to 13, true, false, not given. Now, please be attentive. I'll give you some good tips for true, false, and not given. The first thing is true, false, not given questions are always in order. Questions and answers are in order. So I call them type A questions. Okay. For example, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So you'll find them all in order. First paragraph, second, two answers in third paragraph, next answer in fourth paragraph and all that. In true, false, not given, sometimes there is a word or there is a phrase which is going to decide whether the answer is true, false, or not given. And what do they do if they use that phrase exactly in the passage with different wording? If the meaning is same, they use synonyms for that, then it is true. If they use antonyms, antonym is the opposite of synonym. If they use antonym of that phrase, uh, then answer is going to be false. And if they don't use any synonym or antonym, they don't tell us any, they don't give us any information, then the answer is not given. Now, very important thing is when you read the question, you need to decide immediately, this is what I have to check. This is what I have to check. Once you identify that, then you will check that very thing and then you decide true, false, not given. And if you don't know, it's not the whole sentence that you have to focus. You don't need to focus all the sentence. Okay, I'll give you example. Please come to this. Uh, Phydol dentata, if you can't read, no problem. This is the biological name for that type of ants. Phydol dentata ants are the only known animals, underline. Only known animals. It means there is only one species of animals that scientists know. So if it is the only known animals which remain active for almost their whole lives, then answer is true. And if there are other species as well, it's not just the only known. Scientists know about other known species also. Then the answer is false. And if they don't tell us whether this is the only known species or not, then it is not given. Now let's look for the word Phydol dentata. First paragraph and the first thing. Phydol dentata. Now we're just going to look for the word only known animals. Uh, there is one reading which is called skim reading. Sometimes after scanning, listen, listen. Sometimes after scanning, if you don't find your answer, then you need to start skimming. Skimming is running through the passage quickly, looking for the right piece of information. Okay. So, uh, Phydol dentata is in first paragraph. It is in second paragraph somewhere. It is in third paragraph as well. So, you need to start from the beginning. So, Phydol dentata, native of southeastern U.S., isn't immortal, but scientists have found that it doesn't seem to show any signs of aging. Old worker ants do everything just as well as the youngsters, and their brains appear just as sharp. We get a picture that these ants really don't decline, says Isabel Geraldo, who studied the ants. Okay, let's go on. Such age-defying feats are rare in the animal kingdom. Yeah, see that? Phydol dentata, and they don't die, and they are active till the last time when they die, or whatever. Such age-defying feats, feats are like kartab, tricks, are rare in animal kingdom. Naked mole rats, now listen, naked mole rats can live for almost 30 years. It's just not the ants. What is the second species? Naked mole rats can live for almost 30 years and stay fit for nearly their entire lives. So is it the only ants? No. no. They have this naked mole rats also. What's the question? Phydol dentata ants are the only known animals. No. We have naked mole rats also. So the answer is? False. False. Got it now? Okay. Because it's just not one thing. It's the other mole rats also. So answer is false. And by the way, when I read this thing, I decided it could be true. Such age-defying feats are rare in the animal kingdom. I thought if there isn't anything rare, then it can be true. But then they said naked mole rat can live for almost 30 years. They mentioned another one. So sometimes don't decide your answer after reading one sentence. The next sentence can negate the first sentence. Mo uh, mostly... Second sentence will negate, negate the first sentence. You need to read that. Okay, question number 10, please. 
Isabel Giraldo was the first person. This is what they write, first person, second person, third person, underline first person, to study Fidol dentata ants using precise data, underline precise data about the insect's age. Now, if he was the first person who did that using precise data, answer is true. true. If he was second, third, fourth, then answer is and if they don't tell us whether he was first, second, third, fourth, then it is not, not given. Okay, now please come back. In the third paragraph, we've got this thing. So, they used here, Geraldo focused on ants at four age ranges. No, they didn't mention this very thing that uh, he was... Second. Sorry? Doctoral thesis. But again, we get a picture, yeah, but they didn't mention that he was the first person or not. Let's go on. Let's go on. Okay, please come to the third last paragraph. Third last paragraph. Found it? Okay, now they're talking about the same scientist and they say this is the first time anyone has looked at both behavioral and neural changes in these ants so thoroughly, says Geraldo, who recently published the finding in the proceeding of the Royal Society. No, it isn't here. So we need to go back. Good. Well done. It's the third paragraph. Everyone, please come over there. Unlike all previous studies, what does it mean previous study? Previous research. Unlike all previous studies which only estimated how old the ants were, her work tracked the ants from the time that uh, pupa became adults and she knew their exact ages, then she put them through a range of tests. Now come back to question. Isabel Geraldo was the first person to study uh, Fidol Donata ants using precise data uh, about the insect's age. Now what is the word for precise data? Exactly, that's right. And unlike all previous studies, Unlike all previous studies means he was the first one who adopted something different. So whenever they use the word first, they might use the word unlike the previous researches. He was the only one who looked at it from a different point of view. So for question number 10, correct answer is true. Okay, now let's go on. Question number 11. Ants in Giraldo's experiment behaved as she had predicted. Now, what do you look for? If ants behaved as per her prediction, answer is true. If they behave differently, she was not expecting that. She was not predicting that, then the answer is false. And if they don't tell us, then it is not given. So, let's see. It's the same paragraph, Giraldo expected. Found it? Uh, fourth paragraph, one, two, three, four, fifth last line. Giraldo expected the older ants to perform poorly in all these tasks, but the elderly insects were all good caretakers and trail followers. The 95-day-old ants could track the scent even longer than their younger counterparts. So Giraldo expected the older ants to perform poorly, but actually... They did not perform poorly. They say here, but the elderly, elderly means old ones. Insects were all good caretakers. That was not her expectation. What's the question? Ants in Geraldo's experiment behaved as she had predicted? No. They behaved differently. What was the prediction? Prediction is expected. Geraldo expected the older ants to perform poorly, but actually they did not perform poorly, so they did not meet her prediction. That is why the answer is false. Who said true? Huh? 
Okay. Uh, mark all these sentences in the passage. When you go back home, read them again. Sir khapayen, dimag ladayen, then you'll be fine. Okay? Question number 12. Recent studies of bees. What's the clue word? Bees. Okay? Recent studies of bees used different method, underline different method of measuring age-related decline. Now, if they used different method, answer is? True. If they used same method, answer is? And if they don't tell us about the method, whether it was same or different, then it is not given. So let's look for B's. Third last paragraph, okay? Now, it's the third line, and I'm going to start it from second line. This is the first time when anyone has looked at both behavioral neural changes in these ants, okay, it's all about ants, who recently published the findings in the proceeding of the Royal Society Bee Scientists have looked at some similar aspects in bees. Now, aspects are similar. What are the aspects about age and all that? Uh, out the results of recent bee studies were mixed. Some studies showed age-related declines, which biologists call uh, Sensens and others didn't. For now, the study raises more questions. No, come back to question. The recent studies of bees used a different methods. Did they mention anything about the method? No. Come back, read again. Just see. They see looked at some similar aspects in bees. Out there. Now, method or the word method or different methods or same methods, there is no information on that, hence the answer is not given. Question number 30. Fidol denata ants kept in laboratory conditions tend to live longer lives. Now listen, when they keep them in laboratory conditions, the ants, then they have a long life. And if they are in their uh, habitat, then they have a short life. So they say, uh, this denata ants kept in laboratory conditions tend to live longer life. Now, if their lifespan is longer in the lab than their habitat, it's true. If it is the opposite, then it is false. And if they don't tell us, then it is not given. So longer lives. Let's focus this thing. Longer lives. It's the second last paragraph. If the ants don't deteriorate with age, why do they die at all? Out in the wild, the ants probably don't live for a full 140 days thanks to predators. Out in the wild, the ants probably don't live for full 140 days thanks to predator disease and just being in an environment that's much harsher than the comforts of the... So what does it mean? It means in the lab, they live 140 days. And when they are not in the lab, they don't live for full 140 days. So the answer is, Fidol Dinata and kept in laboratory conditions tend to live longer lives. Have you noticed? And what is the word for longer lives? Full 140 days. When they are in laboratory, they live uh, full 140 days. And otherwise, they are just having less time. Okay.